McAllen Decanter Series number six in Lalique Crystal. We can't wait to open this box. 43 ABV. I bet the crystal makes it taste awesome. <laughs> hey, I can't wait to find out. Let's find out. Scotch for dummies. Four guys on a scotch journey to help you with your next scotch purchase. And you know what it is? Six. No, no, no. Forget about that. You know what today is? It's our 200th review. Two, 200. 200. How does that happen? I well, a bunch of people decide to watch videos. us and, and comment and be part of the community, and we just kept making videos. I think Fantastic. we've only repeated one scotch, and that was our first one. We redid it our 100th video. That's right. But to celebrate our 200th it's review, it's a celebration. we're doing something from the distillery that started our journey. It is. Right? It's true. Yep, you're so right. a bottle of MAC-12 was the reason that we're sitting before you today. And in honor of our 200th review, you guys got together and got us helped to get us a present, and we couldn't be more grateful. You guys rock! Here um, you got the tab, Drew. Okay. So let's slide this box open. Oh, <laughs> Everybody hear angel singing? Is that awesome angel story? singing. <laughs> um, it's beautiful. It, it sparkles. Well, talk, about, talk about what's going on, guys. All I right. See it very well. So the we, box. We we've got this. You want to talk about the box? Talk about the box. So let me tell you, this box, we were, as we were unboxing this, we, we were going through some merchandise or some, some of the materials that were with it. This box is made of Corian. You know those countertops you get for... <laughs> it's in my kitchen. It's a countertop. <laughs> it's a Corian countertop. This, this, is, a, this is like almost a, a like marble type box. And then mirrored all over this fancy crystal decanter top. Don't drop that bad boy. Is, so when you're done with it, you can reuse the decanter as you will as a decanter. Yeah, I mean, yeah. but I can't wait to tear this because the bottle out. is is Lily Crystal, right? Um, and it is heavy. Uh, they they pack this thing like crazy. Oh. There was show down there packing materials everywhere. We got this cool show little on the uh, bottom there too. Oh yeah, the uh, so the McAllen Six. I don't know if you guys know this or not. That's probably why you're watching the video. Yes, uh, but it is not the sixth bottle or the sixth version of this series. Sure. It is named after the six pillars of McAllen, right? Which are uh, the spiritual home. Okay. The curiously small stills. Uh, the finest cut because they they do a, a pretty a small good cut. good cutting. Uh, the exceptional oak casks, which we're going to talk about in the review. Sure. Uh, the natural color, I believe that's natural color. I can't Holy believe. crap! Oh, man. And the peerless spirit. So. Uh, basically, the whole thing is about the quality of, of what McAllen does. Um, so this is natural color. Uh, it doesn't say non-chill filtered, and it's 43 ABV, so I'm going to probably guess that there's chill filtering involved. Yeah, I, I'm going to tear this so we can start pouring this, but I want you to see something. So the little tear strip has a hologram seal on it. It oh does. wow, that's really cool. That's and it's actually got a serial number on the seal, so yeah. And there's a serial, the, there's a barcode on the bottle as well. Yeah. I so I mean, they're they're really this. doing a, a well. I'm, you know, that's a, that's an interesting thing to talk about is the uh, the, the no market back. for uh, like, counterfeit oh, spirits, <laughs> right? No, right. no, no. Go rip, ahead. Rip but but off. that's why they're doing that cool. Right. seal because it's a higher end scotch and they're trying to fight that kind of stuff so I, I'm excited that they did something like that speak? no that's a huge <laughs> cork oh, oh, yeah. that, that boy. <laughs> it reminds me of the rare only big look at the size of that Jeez. thing <laughs> did you get that that's on hilarious <laughs> where's that crystal I hope I wasn't looking straight at Mark. <laughs> he was <laughs> so to wow. reiterate Sean number six there you go. It's not the sixth in the line. There are no, four. There's there's four bottles in this series. So, um, and basically they're, they're all about the the wood. It's a it's a celebration of McAllen's spirit, right? It's beautiful. Um, so the eighteen twenty four decanter series. You've got sure, uh, reflections. You've got the number six. You've got the M and the McAllen M Black. Those are the four in the series. Uh, <laughs> right. I, Three I'm ounce fours. No. Show <laughs> pour. Right. There we go. Look oh, how dark look that, that is. It's so dark. All right, so... The kids in the candy store. The, the basics for this 
particular bottle. They it, this was done in first fill sherry casks from a single cooperage. Right. So they go to Juarez, Spain. They have this one cooperage that makes the casks all the same. Um, they're sherry seasoned, and then this is done into the sherry seasoned cask. It's first fill. So this is natural color. Uh, we had I, doing my research. Uh, I. I came across some unsubstantiated like insider information uh, that this particular scotch was distilled in 95 and then bottled in uh, 2015. So that makes it a 20 year old scotch, give or take, depending on when it was distilled and when it was bottled. But roughly 20 years old. Uh, the thing about McAllen is they have small stills. Um, and so they, they get that heavy oily cut because the copper doesn't have enough time to really interact with the spirit. Mm -hmm. And then they put it into decent sized casks. And so it takes a while for that oiliness and that sulfury stuff that, that Mark always talks about to kind of, to kind of work their way through the spirit and, and, you know, get a little more refined. Uh, so we're looking at a hopefully 20 year old bottling of McKellen. Uh, so I'm going to assume that we were looking for a very refined scotch. I hope so. I hope so. Uh, I, judging by the color, I'm excited. I well, love the color of it. Um, just coming to the, the packaging. This is making me nervous. I'm going to set this back like here. It's going to be amazing. <laughs> yeah. so, um, in celebration of our 200th review, we are the, using co second fill coin 100. So this is our second 100 series coin. It won't last. <laughs> it's available on our website. Yeah. Which means on our third fill, we're going to have to save that series 100 for our oh 300 goodness, review, right? Oh my goodness! you smell that? From everything I did during my research, everybody talked about the the aroma on the scotch is where it's at. They so, said the taste oh is great, God. but the aroma. Seventeen hundred and fifty of these decanters were produced. I don't know how many of these bottles came to the United States. What the U.S. allocation was? Um, Not enough. As far as retail price, it's kind of all over the board. We researched the heck wow. out of it, and, and you know, <laughs> anywhere from three to five thousand yeah. dollars, really. I mean, honestly, it, depending I, I, on where you're getting it from, what market you're in, right? Yeah, I mean, there there was a pretty wide uh, variety, uh, but there's not a lot of these bottles. Um, uh, you know, the M gets a lot of, of coverage, but this is like the M's little brother. Yes, it is. Uh, and it's a lot cheaper. It's, but, it's yeah. in the same series. Yeah, it is. Well. I guess it's all relative, yeah, right? Well, either way, it's still really, really high end. Uh, did you get? Oh, did you do that? I didn't get no sulfur. There is no, no. sulfur on that. No. This is this, this is this is a sherry bomb. Yeah, this is this one's it, a little more it's, refined. It's going to be exquisite. I, 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 did one. you talk about the casks and all that? Uh, yeah, I, I touched on it, but uh, so you're you're looking at European oak, um, and it sounded like from what I gathered, it, they were pretty heavily seasoned <laughs> sherry casks. It smells like so yeah, um, and these were first fill, right. so they were trying to get all that goodness out of there. Right. Um, so this is this is going to be no joke. Um, and if it's twenty year old McAllen and it doesn't smell like a young McAllen, no, it, it looks right. it smells it's, like it's got a little bit of age to exactly. it. Exactly. But I'm curious as to know why they didn't put a, an age statement on it. Um, uh, well, because there's one person. They, uh, well, they who knows? There, there could be. You know, the. Um, uh, the the thing that they were focusing on was the cooperage. They were focusing on the the sherry cast. So that was one of the six pillars that they were really getting down on. Um, so that's why they were very careful to get all of the casts from the same cooperage and treat them all the same way. All right. So I'm gonna start doing yeah. some things. Wow. I got blood orange, raisins, a little dark chocolate. Yep. Um, some blood orange was wonderful. I even got a little date. Well, see, yeah, and I'm getting almost a, a dusky cellar, kind of a age. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. But I've also got some, like, orange tea and, and uh, like, some black, date, yeah. like, black well, that, plum. Because that yeah, it's, it's almost a, a bitter a bitter orange or a bitter, maybe that's a, that orange yeah. tea. Yeah. There's a, yeah. I mean, just a hint so, of oh, mint, too. Just I get that bitterness, that, that tea, almost a coffee when I swirl it around a little bit more. It really brought that out. I almost got, like, a, a, a Ooh, wow, dark black fantastic. coffee out of it. It's pretty oily. <sighs> nice legs. <clears throat> Somebody's already kicked into it. I hear it. <laughs> wow. 
I gotta say the nose is is really 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 pleasant. I this this would stump me if you blindfolded me and put this in front of me. I would not say a McKellen. That's really. I nice. would not say McKellen. This is rich and balanced. The the sweetness balances really well with kind of the bitterness. It just it's forty three. Yeah, I know it tastes a little hotter. Yeah, a little burnt, little burnt, little burnt on the tongue. Yeah. Here's the trouble that I'm having getting my head wrapped around. And I'm not going to take this into consideration when I put my score out. But this this little glass of scotch right here is costs as much as some of my favorite bottles that I've ever had. Mm-hmm. That is unbelievable to me. So, you know, I've got to take that into account that, you know, it's, you know, what, $180 for an ounce? Is that right? 200 yeah, um, probably. You're, you're getting close to the neighborhood. I yeah. mean, depending on what you paid for, three to five thousand. Let's just say you've paid four thousand dollars for it. How many ounces are you getting out of twenty five? Twenty four. Twenty four point something. So yeah, two hundred dollars an ounce it was gonna be forty eight hundred bucks. So I mean, the thing is, I, I'm gonna go off my second one. So here. my first, my first. First of all, the nose I think hits it. You're right. The nose the is nose, amazing. If, if you're judging this bad boy just on nose, it's, it's home run, baby. She's out of the park. Next level. But um, I got cinnamon on the side of my tongues on the palate that I didn't expect. That's the Especially after that nose. Yeah. Right, there's a, there's a spicy note. It's got a, a little bit of an herbal quality. Mm-hmm. There, it, Maybe a clovish, so, I don't know. I, I don't there's, know. It's, but there's no pepper quality to it for me, though. I mean, it's definitely like, raisins. it's going to have a spice like a cinnamon or, like I said earlier, I had a, a, just a hint of mint on the nose, not on the palate, but definitely on the nose. Um, but it, it has some other things going on too. Some other spices, some richness to it, like um, maybe some clove, nutmeg, or something else as well. You know, for a, for a non-peated whiskey, this has all of my favorite flavors in a sherry. It's got the the dark fruit, raisins. It doesn't have any sourness in it. It doesn't have anything that it, that sometimes a, a young sherry can kind of have kind of a twist or an off off shot sour. It's just all the rich. Deep dark fruits, yeah, dried fruits and figs and dates and yeah. I, I do get some of the nutmeg, like allspice, yeah, that you're talking about. It, it's got a little bit of a spice quality to it, which is nice. Almost a uh, like a, a mincemeat pie kind of thing going mm-hmm. on. I mean, it's really rich and flavorful. I mean, that's, that's what I'm chewing on here now. The yeah. finish is, is is fairly long, medium. The, the finish has a it's a got a really good finish, and it keeps waffling. Uh, it it's that baked goods. Kind of finish, you know. It's got the the spiciness, but it's also got a a bready quality it's about it. It's almost like a pecan pie, but the, the, like the end of it, after you've already yeah. chewed pecans, you that the brown sugar kind of yep. hint, the finish, the trailing finish of that now I'm getting pie those piece, pecan nuts, you yeah. know that. Yeah, it's kind of on a, a back back of the palate. This is really really good. I think um, the more it airs off, the more like new leather smell I get on it. New leather, new leather, not not your old dusty. It, blank right, leather. right, right. It changed up quite a bit from the first sip at when I went back to nose it a second time, God, and even on the second sip, it's it's very complex. It's got a lot of stuff going on. I actually think I'm going to set it down and just let it hang out for a little bit because I don't want to I don't want to rush it. It, it feels like this particular scotch just just has a lot to give, a lot. Um, I think it's one that you can just hang out with for a while. The, the flavor lingers for a long time. This is like an hour-long glass and not like a 10-minute glass. Yeah, I, mean, I definitely want to. I poured myself too little. Normally, you, you, shorted, you shorted this side of the table because I've only had two small drinks. I did too. I just. It's okay. I got enough to make a judge on this. Yeah. I don't know. I, I might have enough to put a, a small drop of water on it, but I don't. I don't necessarily I know this is something I would put a drop in. There. I really don't want to put water on it. Honestly, I, I just don't think that it's. I don't I'm think going it's to that's because gosh, that's man. what we do. Consistency, baby. All about consistency. It doesn't matter. Let me that. have to pour a little more in my glass. <laughs> yeah, I bet you do. <laughs> <laughs> Oops. <laughs> I'm not getting as much on the nose anymore. Mm-mm. It does soften the nose. It softens the nose up. It's 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 like it's like it's um. I mean, as expected, right? It's 43, but it definitely is like it took that the prominent smells we had earlier and kind of put it in the distance. It's it's there, but they're, you're, you're yeah, fighting you to get to, to it. Do. Yeah, it softened them. You know, it didn't change them. It just softened. I'd, them. I'd let it sit for a little bit. 
I'll yeah, put it's some ju- water it, on it. It just has such a, a richness to the nose. It just smells deep and rich. This is the biggest 43 ABV scotch I think I have ever had. No joke. Mm-hmm. I mean, it is it is full-bodied. It's all there. Well, it's a beautiful bottle. I'll give them that, too. The, the decanter is... Yeah, they didn't mess around with it. It's It's pretty. The water really brings out the dark chocolate. On the palate or the nose? On the, on the palate. Oh, I can't wait. I don't know. I'm on. I'm on third sip, and I'm getting a lot of dark chocolate before the water. Well, it's even so, more pronounced with water. It, I put two drops on. I think. Mm-hmm. I wish they would have wow. would have bottled it at like forty six or fifty. Oh, we wish them for everything. I, I, <laughs> it's such a big scotch at forty three. I think if they would have left it just a little bit hotter and left some of those, if you would have left some of the proteins and let that scotch be the bigger yeah. scotch that it is, it would have been. Next level. Yeah, it is. It is a light on the mouth. It does not real heavy. It doesn't no. have a lot of that drawing pulling flavors. Yeah. Wow, this is pretty, pretty incredible though. I mean, for what we're getting out of this, is, this no, is no, definitely no. not what you would expect. From it's not bad with a small drop. I mean, and I put a small drop. So, but it 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 brings out a little bit more of the sweetness. Question for you guys: <clears throat> um, Since you've got a little more to taste, what do you? Do you notice any similarities to Macallan that you have? Are you tasting their their normal spirit in there? Or I, is it, is I get a little bit of it. I, I do. I, I don't get the... And I've never been a big guy to, to get all of that um, sulfur. Right. I, I never pick it up like you do. But it's got a underlying, like herbally quality that I that I generally find in Macallan that's I mean it's not pronounced and it's not crazy, but I taste it in there. So I, I get I get where it's coming from. Sure. Uh, but they definitely I, I get the influence of that that Spanish oak. Mm. Um, and obviously it's a sherry. You can bomb, definitely taste right? the Spanish yeah, oak. You know, I, I mean I, I, you're getting all that, that spicy quality that I associate right. with that. Um, so I mean but I, I get that it's Macallan. I mean they're it's just bigger, bolder McAllen, I guess. And just just m- mature. I mean, it just feels more mature. I'd really I'd like to have a, si- a, a glass of 12 right as soon as we're done shooting. I, I, I love to pour one. I, I mean, I'm dying to just have back this up with a 12 just to see the Is difference. Because I'll be honest with you, I, I like McAllen, but I'm not a McAllen super fan boy, yeah. so I'm, right. I don't remember exactly what I'm going right. to Right, it's been quite a while since right. we've had a Mac 12, to be honest with you. I mean, right. It, right. So I'd love to be able to judge it up against, but I can't right now. So, who's going to kick this off? You. Um, so I, you know, this has everything I like in a good, rich, bold flavored scotch. It has those dark fruits. It has the color. You know, while it, it's beautiful in color, I, I can't judge it on the color, but it just looks and feels and tastes rich. Um, I would love to take another sip, but I'm going to hold off just a little bit. Uh, I, the price, so that <laughs> it's off the charts, you know, it's a specialty scotch, let's not judge it for that. I, I, you know, I assume this was a $500 bottle or whatever. Um, I'm going to have to give this a four because it is exquisite in the presentation. It's balanced. It's balanced. You can taste the wood. You can taste the sherry. You can taste all that. The mouthfeel is good and clean and rich mm. and bold. Um, there's no smoke. That's okay. You don't need smoke. This is great without it. Um, I don't know without the water as much. Um, I, that's unfortunate, but it sounds like you guys are, are going well with that. So that I'm going to take your advice on that. So I got to go with four on this because it is just a, a really good presentation of whiskey. Regardless of the bottle, regardless of the price, if I had a glass of this, I'd go, wow, this is nice. I think that's the key, and it's it's... This is definitely outside of our normal review because it falls kind of on the side of how you know we would balance it with taste and, and smell and price and all those things. So we have to kind of take some yes. of that out of the window to your point. But I guess I guess what I'll say is if you poured me a glass of this and you poured me a glass of a nice sherry bomb like a revival or, or a Glen Goyne or something else that I know mm-hmm. that's really sherry out there, this competes with it. Right, oh, it's it's oh, on yeah. the same level, if not more, than some of the other ones. I mean, it's it's to your point, it's it's complex. I mean, I've got some so many different flavors on the nose alone before I even tasted mm-hmm. it, and then after I tasted it, uh, you know, spices, the the dark chocolate, um, some of the other things we talked about. It's it's definitely there, and it's 
it, I would I really want another glass yeah, and completely. sit with this for an hour because I can guarantee you I know it will evolve and I can guarantee you we're going to find other flavors so it's complex it's definitely there and that's what we always look for with our, with our scotch right um, price out the window can't mess with that for this one it's a one off but for everything else the fact that we're drinking this bad potion <laughs> I gotta give it a four too it's 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 it, delicious. It didn't let me down, put it that way. It, it, ba- it really balances good. so well. Ed, the edges are just rounded off. It just really goes well. It's nice. I I came into this a little bit skeptical. Mm-hmm. I'm not going to lie. Yep. Because when we did the McKellen Rare Cask, <laughs> I I mean, that's a beautiful bottle, too. You know, it's a cool bottle, really yeah, nice there. cork. Like, yeah. No, it's not. Oh, yeah. There it is. There it is. There it is. It is no, uh, magic. Magic. Uh, but the thing that I was disappointed about it was the juice in the bottle, right? Yeah. And so we unbox this bottle, and it's beautiful. It's this beautiful crystal bottle. And so I think you get value just in that, right? The bottle sure. itself is great. So if you take, if you were going to get a crystal decanter anyway, this is a twofer, right? So <laughs> yeah. you get this beautiful bottle. It's, it comes in this really cool box. You know, it looks good on your shelf. So if you're, if you're a McAllen fan and you're going to go spend some money on a really nice crystal decanter, like that's part of the price. So right. you can take some of that out. Yep. Judging it just off the juice in the bottle. That's what I want to yes. do. Focus. So, judging by the juice, they did exactly what they wanted to do. You know, I mean, I it's got that super sherry influence. It's got that Spanish wood that you can taste. It's got all of those characteristics that you really like. And for a 43 ABV scotch, it's a punch in the face. I mean, that's it cool. it delivers. It's 20 years, too, right? So what you're saying? Well, that's I'm the rumor. We, I, we can't I prove took, it, obviously. I took a sip several minutes ago. I'm still tasting it. It's still hanging out there. Now it's turned into like a, a black tea. Mm-hmm. Just, you know, uh, but the flavor evolves as it goes. Mm-hmm. It even held up to the water, which f- a did. lot of 43 ABV scotches can't do that. No. And most of them don't come with the complexity that this one does. Normally you have to get a higher ABV yeah. scotch to get the complexity you get out of this glass. Yes. The nose is wonderful. I really can't think of a thing that I would ding it for. I can't. Um, and I came in being very skeptical no, about what no. it was going to be like, so I'm going to throw a four as well. Uh, it, it's just a really, it's a really nice scotch. It's, yeah. <laughs> All right. So I've already thoughts. said it. I, I came into this thing. I think everybody saw me coming into this thing. Everybody that's watching, for he's going to come in here. It's the most expensive bottle of sulfur he's ever smelled in his life. <laughs> And nope. it ain't happening. No, nope. I'm shocked. I, I, I'm too. The, the rare let me down so much that in, in every other McKellen, oh I, the edition series, I actually enjoyed and didn't get much of a series. Uh, uh, of a, of a, a, a sulfur flavor. None of this. You hit it. This reminds me so much of a Glendro 21 or a Glen Goyne 21. Those older sherry bombs. I it, it stands up toe to toe to all those. It's interesting mm-hmm. that the nose is there. I love the nose. I love the nose better than the palate on this. And the palate's really good. But one of the things that I liked about the nose is it's hard to describe it. It almost has a velvety feel on the nose. I, as you smell it, mm-hmm. it's got all those it smells. It smells like velvet feels. I, I, right. And it's hard to, to it's almost like got a, a little bit of a menthol or something in there where you're just like, oh, you just can't stop smelling it. Well, on the, on the palate, you get everything. The sherry bomb is there. You get the long lasting thing. Um, I, I can't knock it either. That's why I, I started not knowing where I was going to come in as a number. And then as you were talking, I'm like, all right, Mark, just find find a chink in the armor. Just hit something. Yeah. Just try to ding it, right? you got to find it. It's here somewhere. I'm, I'm trying, guys. I'm really looking for something to knock this down, and I can't. It's really delicious. It is. And yes, it's expensive as all get out. But I tell you what, not thinking about that, you just pour this to me, don't tell me what it is. I'm going to love every drop of it yep. when you give it to me. That's that's all there that's is the to point. it. It's the so I can't disagree with the fours. This, I mean, I'm excited that our 200th view is banging a four, but it is. It, that's because that's what this is. So I, I talked great. myself up to a four. I was going to give it a three, five, and I was like, uh, I was with you. I was like, I really can't fault it for anything. <laughs> right. I'm, I'm trying so, to tell you guys something that I can expensive. knock it to a that's three, the five. the only thing but, that would be. But if you, but the, 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 goes to the point, just like I did my blind review not too long ago, right? And it's all about the whiskey. It's not about me. It's not about what I did. It's about the whiskey. And this speaks for itself. Like yep. if you poured this with, like I said, against another sherry bomb, 
you would not be you know disappointed in it, not knowing what it is. So I can't well tell it's a mechanic. Really honestly, the water that I put in it, it laughed off, and it's <laughs> it's full bodied again. So, I, I think you hit another point. Was I really think they did exactly what they set out to do? If they if they were trying to highlight this cooperage and what wood can do. I think they did. It. Wood is a magical. I thing. mean, yeah. they hit a home run. They they nailed out what they set out to do. You got to give them credit for that. Um, it's, we just can't fours all the way around, guys. I'll tell you what. Thank you to all of you for supporting us throughout the years. Through two hundred reviews, boys. Two hundred. How many you years is that? That's a lot of years. <laughs> we got we got a lot more to go. Yep, it's a lot more to it's go. All, it's all relative. So if you haven't yet, please hit the subscribe button. The what are like you waiting button. for? <laughs> Obviously, this is a pretty cool episode. We're all excited for it. A little it. bit so longer hope, than normal. It too. If you've had some, love to hear your comments. <laughs> Absolutely. About it. Yes. Um, and uh, we're live every Thursday, guys. Yeah. So we're gonna have one more small pour, pour of this on uh, on Thursday. That's right. Something to look forward to. Check yep. it out. Yep. I'm going to pour myself better next time. <laughs> Cheers, Jess. I'll, I'll pour yours, Andrew. Congratulations, boys. Thank you, Cheers, everybody. Cheers, guys. Happy 200. Happy 200.